a thought I've had for several years, and I don't know why I haven't really recorded it. It's a quick little thought that has to do with John 3.16 and the other verses that express that same sentiment, the necessity for believing in Christ to be saved. I think, well, did something change when he came? Because there was no demand that you believe in this son, this other person, throughout the history of mankind and his relationship to God. God always said to trust in him. He didn't say that you should trust in anyone but him. So I just thought about that. Is this a new thing? For those of you who believe God is three people, or they are three people, they are not, or was Jesus really God telling people, you need to believe in me, like I've been telling you all along. Because if the requirement changed, then that means the people before Christ didn't have the opportunity to believe in God. They didn't even have the opportunity, so they couldn't be disrespectful or or disobedient in any way because the son hadn't come yet. How can you believe in someone that hasn't come? So, if, like I say, if I believe he's a physical manifestation of the God who always spoke. The God who spoke at the mount to Israel and gave the commandments. The God who walked with Adam and Eve. The God who had dinner with uh, Abraham, the God who wrestled with Jacob, the God who spoke to Samson's parents, the God who spoke face to face with Moses as a man speaks with his friend. Same God. It wasn't nothing new. He was merely saying, you gotta believe in me. So to say, to believe in, that's why he was saying, you believe in God, believe in me also. It's one in the same. It's not something new. Or that would, that would suggest that no one had an opportunity to believe in him. Unless the son is the father. Because the father spoke throughout time in the past. Then, that's my simple little talk. God bless us all as we seek better understanding and intimacy with our God. In Jesus' name, amen.